next. This is the J Diction resin. So um, I'm gonna just use a separate little tiny cup here for colors. Um, only because I just don't feel like getting colors in my larger beaker. There's no particular um, volume that I was looking for. Um, with filling up the top part of this pyramid. This is the earth element. And see, now that it's in there, it looks way more bubbly than it did in this one. So, let's see. <clears throat> do is just give it a little bit more heat and since these tiny little cups melt um, I'm just doing that on my coffee cup warmer and the two colors that I have I have pale green and bright green I didn't do tests with these like I did with the blue for the water Hmm, now I'm thinking, I don't know. Let's try pale green. I don't know if this is open. Yes, it is, thank goodness. Opening these little things is such a mess. Um, so I'm doing this over a paper towel because I might not want the whole droplet. So I tap some on the towel first um, because like I said, this stuff is potent. Potent. My pronunciation is not great. And there we go. So we've got just enough color where it's not overpowering. It'll still be translucent. I'm just going to pour a little first um, and take my extra pointy stick and just tap down into the pyramid point because other people say that you can get bubbles there. So. Heating their advice, that's what I'm doing. Hmm, so this is filling up more, well not more, right now if I stop it I've got like this tiny little bit extra, um, and I hate to waste it, so I'm going to pour that into something else. And this is all I'm going to do for now on the earth, because I'm going to let this sit for a while, and then I will add to it later. So I took a little break and I'm returning to my earth element resin. It's a bit thicker now inside here. Oop, don't want to tilt it too much. And now I'm going to take the bright green. We used pale green before just to catch you up to speed. Um, oh, where is my napkin? I need a clean napkin. All right. So I'm going to uh, find a way to make things cooperate. I don't know. All right. So I'm just going to put the the drop on. Can you see that? Um, on here. That way I can take most of it off. And I'm going to stick. 
the stick. Stick the stick. Okay, so um, I'm still looking at it and still thinking, okay, it could use just a little more. Now, because the resin's going to settle anyway, um, anything I plan for it to look like is probably not going to happen. Like, I would love for this to look like grass or something, but that's not, not going to happen. It'll probably spread out and not look as cool as it does right this second. Right now, it uh, right now it looks like swirls, um, but I mean I know it's not gonna stay that way. So that's <laughs> part two. Now I have two things that I'm doing. The first is continuing my earth element. The um, clear layer with which is on top of or if we were to write it um, underneath the hematite which is the little tiny stone i've got a few things here to represent earth and i don't think all of them are going to fit in here so well certainly this would have to be cut this is lichen um the powdered ruffled ruffled lichen. This is moss that I flattened whoops, and pulls apart and it feels quite dry so um, and it's got some dirt on it which I actually like because it gives it a nice dirt and earthy look and these are um, petals from a hydrangea hybrid that we grow. Usually when they're blooming, they're this beautiful white color, then they turn lime green, then they turn a rosy pink, and then they die and turn this, um, you know, they lose their color, they turn white and brown, and then they stay on the bush. They don't just fall, so they get cut down every year. So what I've been doing was I took a bunch um, of these and I flattened them but they're already, they've already don't have their color. So that's a thing that I want you to know is if you're doing anything with flowers, you need to preserve them. Preserving is a different process than people just taking, whoops, um, plucking flowers and then sticking them in resin. You will lose all of your color and it'll just disappoint you. So um, you need a desiccant like those packets of stuff that come with electronic products you can buy big bags of that specifically for flowers but you could probably find it not labeled for flowers a lot cheaper but anyway you need to have flowers fresh flowers in there for like a week maybe two if you wanted to actually keep the color now since I'm going I was hoping for for what I call earthy tones which was less vibrant tones um, I was looking more towards the sage color, you know, the, the greens and olives and stuff like that. But when I used the pale green, it came out super vibrant. So, I mean, that might be okay. And it's also more turquoise looking than, um, than I expected. So then my other plan was to use the black walnut ink that I actually made last Halloween. Well, it took um, weeks and, and stuff. So I bottled it close to Halloween, the full moon right before Halloween. And um, when I checked on, the, I, I did this as a test. It's a four-sided pyramid. This is a five-sided. Um, and it still felt a little bit soft to the touch. But it's definitely better than it was before. So at least a few hours um, have helped it. So I'm going to demold this uh, too. But now what I want to do is work with the clear 
to get in a little layer <clears throat> and then I guess it's decision time to start figuring out um, how I want to do this. I think what I'll do is start trying these flowers and that's absorbing quite quickly which is actually nice to see um, so I'm just going to give it a little tap down so that it gets I'm sorry I don't have like a super great camera angle for this but you can watch all the tutorials of that other people have done and it's really neat because these petals are so light they kind of look like wings so um i don't know if you want to go back and see the project that i did with an actual wing but that was really cool so now i'm putting a second one on top and making sure that it's getting covered Wow, those really do look like wings. <clears throat> so I don't know if I need this third one. I'm going to go with the moss next since I got accidentally more vibrant color. And I wonder if I can push this towards a corner because then uh, if this were to go on top of one of the LED lamps, it would still be able to shine through. And we'll just put some more on top here. Let's see, I can kind of, kind of see that. Oh, I'm actually going to just use my scissors to see where I can cut off. See, the, one of the reasons I like the lichens is because they have this brown underneath part from where they were stuck to trees, usually. They stuck, stick to rocks also. Um, it is a little bit like trying to dissect. Hopefully I'm not cutting my glove. All right, now I'm going to turn off my warmer. So I've cut it down to this teeny little piece here instead of, um, Obviously, there's no way I was going to fit this great big thing, but I was planning on doing another sphere with it, which this is the one that um, just didn't come out. Right. And I still have it in my head that I can save it somehow. So I'm going to take this and put it in the opposite corner, if possible. <laughs> Whoops. Um... And now I definitely need more resin because, oh, that's pretty cool the way it is right now. At least there are three elements actually gathered from the earth in this piece. Well, four, I guess, if you count the stone. Okay, folks, I'm back. And I'm hoping that I'm on the last layer of the Earth Pyramid. I added, which I'm sure you probably can't see. Oh, yeah, you can if the light shimmers correctly. I just did a little dusting of gold, like a powder, um, just a little bit um, in there. And what I'm currently mixing, I added two drops of brown 
and what I'm thinking of doing is adding a little green in here to, to sort of make it, um, I don't know, a more appropriate color. My problem is it's so hard to tell what the heck these are gonna come out like. This is the pale green, so two brown, one pale green. Um, yeah, I guess if I hold it up through with the, to the light, we can stand a chance of seeing it. But anyway, that's not working. My hand's in the way. Okay, so this is the brown and green. And <laughs> fingers crossed. I just want to make sure that that mossy bits and the lichen get covered very well. Oh, some of the mica is floating away. That's all right. It'll be cool. All right, so it looks like I will need one more layer because I didn't mix quite enough. But that's okay. So this will be a real quick clip here. What I had decided to do with the earth element pyramid was mount some gold flakes to what will be the very last layer, the very bottom layer. And I'm just gonna incorporate those with some clear. And then hopefully I have just enough resin, really hoping. Um, no, oh my goodness, I might have to mix just a wee bit more. Wouldn't that suck? Oh my gosh, I'm like a millimeter short. Millimeter, milliliter. There we go. Oh, doesn't that figure? All right. Well, I will top this off. And then in 24 hours, we will have an earth element pyramid. I am really excited. I think it's okay to demold even though it hasn't been 24 hours. This was such a thin layer that I think it's okay. It came out really really cool. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It might be very hard to see um, in there, but you can definitely see the flowers, then the lichen and the moss. 